Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. I'm getting a lot of requests to make Doppler ultrasound case videos. So let's start with a case of abdominal aortic aneurysm. A 50 year old male patient came with pulsatile central abdominal lump for 5 years. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the upper abdomen at the pancreatic region and you can see the small vessels here. When we are getting downwards at the infrarenal part, you can see a large cystic area. Here is again the pancreatic region and when you are coming down, you can see this pulsatile cystic area. Here is the longitudinal section. When coming downwards, you can see this cystic pulsatile lesion. This is actually the abdominal aortic aneurysm. Here you can see the lumen is irregular due to the mural thrombi. Now when we put the color Doppler, you can see the typical yin yang pattern or Pepsi sign, indicative of to and fro flow pattern. Now we want to take the spectral Doppler and here we have come to a lateral aspect and we have taken the spectrum and you can see the spectrum shows some pulsation with not a good aortic wave pattern. So we want to take the sample from the central part of the aneurysm and here you can see it is showing to and fro flow pattern which is typical on aneurysm. So here is the picture of the aneurysmal dilatation of the abdominal aorta showing luminal mural thrombi. There is no retroperitoneal hematoma or adjacent collection which excludes the chance of rupture. Here is the typical Pepsi sign or yin yang pattern on color Doppler. Here is the to and fro wave pattern got from the central part of the aneurysm. Here is the aortic flow at the suprarenal part where good amount of blood flow with normal wave pattern is seen. We tried to make a 3D ultrasound image of the aneurysm and here you can see the reconstructed images. And this is the last view of the 3D aneurysm where we can understand the aneurysm is of fusiform pattern. Here is the measurement we have taken from the largest part and the largest transverse diameter that I have measured was around 10.5 cm. But you have to understand that traditional ultrasound won't give you the best measurement in a case of abdominal aortic aneurysm. So we have gone through a CT angiogram in this patient. So let's see what was the measurement that we have got from the CT angiogram. Here is the axial post contrast section. You can see the mural thrombi quite well here. And this is the free part of the lumen. The margin is irregular. And the highest transverse diameter at this part was 13.6 cm, which is different from the highest measurement we have done on ultrasound. Again, on CT angiogram, we also get more information which may be helpful for our clinician for management. Here you can see there was another dilated part proximal to this aneurysmal dilatation, what we have seen before. We tried to evaluate this part, but on ultrasound, it looks quite normal due to overlying gas shadows. Here is the 3D reconstructed image. You can see the aneurysmal dilatation here. Also, the proximal part is slightly dilated. Here is another 3D reconstructed view, and uh, you can see the aneurysmal dilatation here. So, in summary, a fusiform aneurysmal dilatation of the infrarenal abdominal aorta with luminal irregular mural thrombi was noted. No retroperitoneal hematoma or paraortic fat stranding was seen, which excludes the chance of rupture. Color Doppler shows the typical yin yang pattern or Pepsi sign. To and fro flow is noted on pulse Doppler. Now, the take home message. In case of abdominal aortic aneurysm, ultrasound does not provide sufficient detail for procedural planning or more complex lesions and cannot be reliably used in evaluation for endovascular treatments and regional branch vessels assessment. So, for clinicians' management, CT angiogram is a better technique. An aneurysm never gets smaller on follow-up scans, so be careful about reporting the diameter. Thank you for watching this video. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.